Well, the SADC Commission of Inquiry investigating Lesotho's instability has resumed hearings. This after a short recess that was called after the commission learned that there was a high court order stopping its chairperson, that's Judge Mpapi Pumapi went into short recess saying he's going to the High Court to establish what the court order was about. Well, weekend media reports uh, say that the army once the commission stopped after it heard evidence in South Africa. Upon the commission's return to Lesotho, uh, Lesotho's army and government witnesses have uh, refused to answer allegations made by witnesses in South Africa that include exiled opposition leaders and soldiers. Well, for more on that story, we're now joined on the line by our reporter Ntekwana Nkhatana. Uh, good afternoon, Ntekwana. Uh, we understand that proceedings have resumed. Uh, what can you tell us so far? That is correct, Kashmi. When the commission went back into session, it continued with the witness that it was hearing in the morning, and that was businessman Mutumelo, Mutumelo, who said he had come to clear his name with the commission because allegations had been made that he was one of the people that were tortured apparently by the army or reprimanded by the army for being involved in um, seizing arms and ammunition from members of the army in 2007. And he then went into his testimony. He was followed then by Deputy Prime Minister Muteja Metsing, who has been recalled by this commission. And he also came to clear his name about allegations that he had called or, or he had ordered someone to go and tell um, former Commander Maparangwe Mahao, that if he cooperated with the government, his life would be spared. He said these are lies that are like the lies about him bribing the commission, lies about him trying to kill an archbishop in the country, and that they are malicious. He also said that he felt that the commission ought to have called the witnesses that are alleged to have said this about him before he was called to clear his name. Following that um, was the Minister of Home Affairs and leader of Popular Front for Democracy, Lekhatora Kwane, who also came to clear his name. But even before he took oath, he said the summons about him was not correct. So he asked the commission to go back and correct what was said about him in the commission. And now at the moment, we're hearing Army Commander Tadika Modi, who, is also, um, had the, who also has been recalled to the commission to clear his name. Krishni? Mm. Uh, Antikwana, we're trying to understand uh, the process uh, further. Uh, we know that the Commission has about six months uh, to complete its work. Uh, who else can we expect uh, on the stand? It is actually not six months, Kirshen. It was supposed to be 60 days mm -hmm. initially. That was extended to 90 days. We understand that it has a few more days to go. This is why we see the Commission recalling witnesses to clarify points to answer allegations that have been made against them. Some of the witnesses have taken the stand already, like three of the ones that we saw before this commission today. And we understand that in the next two or three days, the commission will conclude its public and in-camera hearings, and it will then take a recess to go and compile its report that it will then present to SADC as it has been mandated to do so. Now, you remember that that's another issue that is being contested here, that lawyers of the government are saying this is a Lesotho commission that must report to the prime minister, even though it's going to report to SADC. But chairperson, the judge and party, Pumati coming out straight to say, well, this is a SADC commission. This is why it was even able to go into South Africa to hear evidence, that it can hear evidence in any member state of SADC, and that evidence will be valid. And the, two, the, the lawyer... And the judge then agreed to disagree on that point and leave it for further um, discussion. But as we are now, and where we are now is where it is uh, winding up its public hearings, and it is expected in the next few days to go into starting to compile its report. Kashni. Ntokwana Nkhatana, our reporter, coming to us on the line there from Lesotho. Well, tensions are indeed building among thousands of migrants heading north through the Balkan states uh, as their route to the Western Europe uh, is stalled by new controls now. Uh, Croatia has asked its northern neighbour, Slovenia, to accept 5,000 more migrants daily. But Slovenia says it will only take half of that number. The move has led to a build-up of people on Croatia's border with Serbia. The Balkans are facing a growing backlog of migrants as thousands build up on the cold, wet borders after the closure of Hungary's southern frontier diverted.